Is it actually worth paying twice as much for a high performance BPS that has less features? Well, in this case, we are going to compare Vulture with Hosinger. Both of these on the 8 CPU BPS. So let's go check it out and compare them. What's up, everyone? So in this case, I've installed two identical websites with the same plugins, same theme, and everything is identical. Now, like I said, we're going to test out Vulture and Hostinger. On Hostinger, we are on the KVM8 plan, which has eight CPU cores. It's an AMD Epic processor, the same as Vulture. They also have the AMD Epic processor. Memory, 32 gigabytes, bandwidth, 33 terabytes available, and disk space, 400 gigabytes of NVMe SSD, same as Vulture. Now, for Vulture, I've already installed it here. Now, there's a little difference on the RAM. In this case, they provide you, for example, eight CPU cores, 16 gigabytes of RAM, because they don't have a plan that's actual compares, comparable. Storage, 50 gigabytes less, and yes, it's on the NVMe also. And the bandwidth, they only provide eight terabytes instead of the 33 terabytes over here on Hostinger. Now, when it comes in terms of pricing, let me show you how much this one costs a month. So you can actually see it's more than twice. So it's going to deploy a new server. And in this case, we're using the cloud compute, which is shared CPU. I'll leave the location. That's not going to vary anything. I, I installed Ubuntu 22.04, same as Hostinger. And the plan that I'm using is this one, eight CPU cores and 16 gigabytes of memory. They don't have a, a CPU with 32 gigabyte, three, 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it's comparable, okay? So it's twice as much, $96 a month, including the auto backups. So you're paying $115 with 20 cents. Why the auto backup? You can remove this, but Hostinger does provide you this feature in the plan that you're paying already, okay? So this is $115. And if you wanna use snapshots, that's going to cost you five cents per gigabyte stored on that snapshot, all right? So that's additional to what you're going to pay, all right? So $115 plus an additional for the snapshot. In terms of Hostinger, you're gonna pay, let's just say the regular price is $60 for this. So it's half the price for more features. You're gonna get ACPU cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 400 gigabytes of NVMe disk space, 32 terabytes of bandwidth. You get one snapshot included, so you can go ahead and delete it and create a new one and it won't charge you additionally like you would on Vulture, all right? Then you have the malware scanner that's included, all right? So all that's included in this. So is it worth paying twice as much for a VPS worth it? In this case, I've installed these two VPS on my server avatar panel. Same OS, same panel for them. I mean, everything's identical and I've installed two websites. This is the Vulture, you can see right here, I've named it Vulture 8 CPU, and this is the Hostinger one. If I go to plugins, here we go, and if I go to plugins to this one, identical, same ones installed and same, one, same ones uninstalled. So identical side, and this is the GT metrics test, and you can see right here, the summary for this one, I'm getting an A grade, this is the Vulture one, and 94 performance and 85 for structure. And the speed is 4.6 seconds. Be aware that this is super slow and it does happen the same with the other case. And the reason for this is because these websites are not optimized intentionally, okay? They don't have a cache plugin and they don't have a CDN. The reason for this is because I want it to load slowly so we can get a better comparison, okay? So 4.6 seconds. Now on my several tests that I ran, it's 4.4 to 4.7 seconds, all right? So just get an idea. And when you come to the Hostinger one, you get an A performance, 91 performance, 96 on structure, which is higher. Don't know why, because it's the same website. And this one loads 4.7 seconds. Now on my test, it ran from 4.6 to 4.8. So there's a difference of 100 to 300 milliseconds for these comparison sites. So Tell me, is it actually worth paying twice as much for half the features for 100 to 300 millisecond difference on speed performance? I say no, but I mean, if you have a website that's super important and those milliseconds are important to you, then by all means, pay twice as much. But if you ask me, I wouldn't pay that much to get more features and better performance. And remember, here you got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and over here you got 32 gigabytes of RAM on the hosting your one, which will count once you have several websites installed on that BPS. So that's when the performance gains are gonna be variable, 
and the RAM is going to kick in and it's going to be better for performing on Hostinger. Now, in this case, Hostinger did provide. <clears throat> now, in this case, Hostinger did sponsor this video, but in no means am I obligated to say anything. These performance tests are real. There's nothing tricky about them. And I am not obligated to do anything that or say anything that I shouldn't. So basically, that's it. I mean, you're going to pay way more to use the Vulture One VPS instead of this one. And the first year is only 20 bucks a month. Plus, there's an additional discount coupon code that I want to show you. So if you add this one to cart, which is the eight CPU cores service, I'm going to show you an additional discount. Now, in this case, you can see it's 20 bucks for the 24 months. I recommend this one because you're going to save for those 24 months. And if you add my coupon code, you can see the total right now is $479. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $431 with 78 cents. So it's going to be much more cheaper in the in the first year. I mean, drastically cheaper. And when you kick in with the new renewal price, it's going to be half the price of what you would pay with Vulture. So there you go. Do consider these if you are interested. Um, if you would like to do consider these and if you would like me to compare this to other BPS providers, do let me know in the comments. And that's a wrap.